Hey guys, so this morning, our last day here in Florida, we're going to Ponce de Leon Springs um, here in Florida. So let's check out the spring. Uh, the kids really enjoyed the spring last year, so we decided to do another one this year. So we're about to go through the gate and uh, we'll see you guys inside. No, wait, this is out. All right guys, we're getting ready to uh, get out of the car and go over here to the spring. Just life of us, you know, Beth is over here picking out what wraps she wants to bring in. We have them all kind of, it, it's cool. I love our, our Durango because we have this little, don't mind the mess. If you're family vacationing, you know what, what this is. But down here we have this space. So I use that to leave the, um, the rafts inflated. And I just put them in there for when we need them. It's great. It's just very convenient. Chris has the pump. He's almost done with that one and he'll grab the other ones from the girls and pump those up. So, <laughs> you see, he's almost there. Look, pretty much done. So, um, let's head down and let's do some swimming. Almost done. Bethany's helping. Now that Bethany's helping, it's actually moving fast. Oh, yeah. Sage is ready. Here you go. No, thank you. Alright, let's really go now. Okay, so we're walking down. There's some pavilions that you can reserve. And it's all uh, ramped so far, so very um, handicap accessible friendly. Got a little playground up here. Yeah, a little nice playground. I think I saw something about a pancake house being on site too. If y'all could see me now, it's pretty funny. Here, I'll let Sage show you what I look like. I got an arm holder. <laughs> see some boats down there too. So let's find our way in uh, back a minute. There's Bethany snorkeling.
So they found a canoe inside the spring where we were swimming at. about 100 feet off this little dock right here you got a good sized alligator just swimming into the woods it's pretty big too all right so we're looking right here off this little uh boat ramp this little boat dock but look at all the fish down here we got a lot of bluegill but there's a couple of bass under here as well With that with the polarized sunglasses. Got quite a few of them under here too. You do the right? These guys, guys. There's a lot of fish in here. I don't know if y'all can see that big Mayan cichlid down there. Man, he's big. Now we're entering Spring Garden Lake. I'll go over all the waterways as we go along out here today. And we'll talk more about the lake in a couple minutes when we can see the entire thing. From here, we're just seeing a portion of it. So we have another alligator straight up in front of us. There's one off to the front right side up there as well. The alligators, when they're born, they're five to seven inches long. They'll start out eating bugs and small fish. And then the larger they get, the larger the prey items get. And built gator be happy to eat another alligator, fish, turtles, small animals, lizards, snakes, frogs, pretty much anything that moves to eat. They rarely take birds though, because there's not much meat on them. Once it hits the water though, it becomes pennywort. It's the same type of plant, two different names, depending on where it's located at. Both pennywort and dollarweed are edible. They're supposed to taste like parsley. I don't recommend trying this stuff in your front yard though because a lot of people put chemicals on their lawns and you don't want to be eating all the poison. And if you do have dollar weed in your yard, that usually means you're overwatering your lawn. It's only one to one and a half foot deep there. And our little path that we're having over on our imaginary channel, it'll be two to two and a half feet of water going across the whole lake here. A little wall of mud. Those trees went over during Hurricane Matthew, October of 2016. And what's neat about our trees when they come over from the storms is they still grow uh, just as long as the root system remains in the waterway. These trees are good examples of it. All the leaves and branches on the top side there, that's new growth. The branches are just now bending up to go towards the sky. So even though the trees fall down out here, they still uh, can continue to thrive. We've got a dark blue patch on the shoulder blade. Uh, blue heron over there. Some spider lilies behind us. Some of these plants. And this is our turnaround spot. If we were to continue on down the waterway another two to three miles, we'd be in Lake Woodruff. We can follow the top of that along into Tick Island Creek. Tick Island Creek takes us to Lake Dexter, and then Lake Dexter takes us to the St. John's River. Another 110 nautical miles north, we'd be in Jacksonville and out to the Atlantic Ocean. And we could go anywhere we wanted to go from there.